Hey guys, this is Mr. Mitchell um, here just to discuss with you guys a little bit about density. So you've done a lab activity at this point uh, where you looked at mass and you looked at volume and specifically of a few different cylinders and rods. And so we want to kind of take it to the next level uh, to discuss, you know, whether these materials are made up of the same substance, whether those rods are made up of the same material. Um, and density is one of the ways that we're going to discuss how we can make that distinction distinguish between the, the two. So just looking back at the experiment, I know there were three rods that you looked at, but there's two that we want to focus on. There's a short gold and a short silver rod. They're about the same size, um, but the question is, are they made of the same substance just because they have the same size? And so at this point, you've been able to kind of handle both of them. You've put them on a scale, you've measured their volume, you've measured their mass, and so you saw that the gold was much, much heavier Right? This guy was much, much heavier than the silver one. And so um, I would say that you would, you'd probably agree that there's no way they're made of the same material if they're the same size and the one is so much heavier than the other one. So let's um, kind of investigate this a little bit further. When we go to talk about uh, what a substance is or what a material is made of, um, we, we try to classify a lot of different things. And so the first thing we looked at for that last one was the size. Okay. Um, but we said they're both the same size, but one's a lot heavier. So we can't just we can't just look at size when we're trying to classify materials. So my examples here, I have three different examples. I have an apple, I have a three ball from like a pool set, and then I have a rose. All three of them are about the same size if I was to hold them in my hand, right? But that does not mean that they're made up of the same material. I can't even use color to do that, right? They're all red. Uh, but they all are very, very unique, very different materials. If I were to go try and take a bite of the pool ball here, the three ball, uh, I would have a lot different results than if I tried to take a bite of this apple. Right? I'd be a lot more upset with my results here than I would be with the apple. So um, what we can do is we're going to use this idea of density uh, to help us see at least one of the reasons why each of these materials kind of has their own unique properties. Um, and so when we say we use density to relate two different properties, uh, the two different properties are actually the ones you already talked about, mass and volume. So density, formal definition. Density is defined as the mass per unit volume of a material. Uh, so that's fancy science speak for uh, how much stuff there is in a certain space. Okay, so really we're just looking at all these mass particles in here, all right, they're all, if we look at the, the two examples side by side, it's the same exact volume, the same size of space, except the one on the left has a whole lot more mass inside. I see all these particles, okay? And so since there's more mass in the same exact amount of space, then we would say that this guy on the left has a much higher density because it has more mass in the same volume, more mass in the same space. Um, so while they're approximately the same size, a soccer ball and a bowling ball don't have the same weight. So they're obviously not the same material. Um, that's because the bowling ball is denser than the soccer ball. If I was to take a microscope and zoom in on this guy, I'd see lots and lots of little particles all crammed together. Okay, all crammed together. And then if I looked at the soccer ball, I'd see the particles are probably spaced out a good bit more than the ones in the bowling ball. And so this guy has a denser set of particles inside. So calculating density. We, we saw that you know fancy science word mass per unit volume. Um, so uh, all that is really really easily simplified in this equation down here. So density is mass per unit volume. That just means mass divided by the volume. So when we go to calculate density we're just going to divide the mass of the material by how much space it takes up or how much volume it has. So let's just do a, a quick two examples here. I said, what is denser, a 29 gram piece of metal with a volume of 45 milliliters or a 35 gram piece of plastic with a volume of 68 milliliters? So since there's two things here, I'm gonna kind of split my page in half so that we can uh, just take one at a time. So what we'll do is I'll read this first part and we'll do it just like when we did physics problems. We wanna write down everything they give us and then we can kind of plug it into a formula as we want to. 
So um, a 29 gram piece of metal. So grams, remember, measures mass. So I know that the mass is 29 grams. And a volume of 45 milliliters. So I'll put volume, V, equals 45 milliliters. Please notice that my volume here, I used a capital V. All right, that's because, remember, when we solved for velocity before, it was a lowercase. So we want to make sure we distinguish between those and make this a capital V. Let me write that this is the metal up here. All right, because we're dealing with the metal on this side. Um, so remember our equation for density was mass divided by volume. And so we'll go ahead and write that down here. Density is mass divided by volume. And I'll just plug my numbers in. Mass was 29 grams. Volume was 45 milliliters. And so when I divide those numbers out, I actually get 0 0.644, and then the 4 is repeated. And we want to associate units with this. Well, we know that we divided grams by milliliters. So my units for my answer are grams divided by milliliters. So my density of the metal is just 0.644 grams per milliliter. So let's go ahead uh, and try out the plastic here. Plastic. So we want to write this down. A 35 gram piece of plastic. So I write my mass is 35 grams. Uh, with a volume of 68 milliliters. Volume, capital V, is 68 milliliters. So, equation again, density is mass divided by volume, and I can just plug my numbers in. My mass was 35 grams. My volume was 68 milliliters. And when I do my division there, I get 0 0.5. Five, one. Uh, we'll round it off to 515. Units are still grams divided by milliliters. And so I've calculated my new density here. So we see that the density of our metal is 0 0.644 grams per milliliter. The density of our plastic is 0.515 grams per milliliter. So the original question, which one is denser? Well, this one has a higher density, so this one is denser, the metal is denser. All right. So um, just another application really quickly. Uh, the, <laughs> the density of a material is actually what makes it either sink or float. Okay. And so when we talk about sinking and floating, most of the time we're talking about water because uh, that's more common to us. So um, water has a density of one gram per milliliter. So it's got a certain amount of particles in that milliliter of space. Any object that has a density that's less than water, so it's less than one gram per milliliter, that thing is going to float in water. So the little dog up here, right, he's on his raft. The raft must have a density that's less than one uh, because it's floating on top of the water, keeping our dog nice and dry. So any object that has a density that's greater than one gram per milliliter, that thing is going to sink in water. And so our boat is made up of a bunch of different materials, obviously different materials than the raft over here. And so these materials want to sink down into um, the water. So obviously their density is going to be bigger than one. And that's why it sinks. Uh, just so some more applications of this. A tennis ball, for example, has a density of 0 0.42 grams per milliliter. This is less than one. So since it's less than one, our tennis ball floats. It's floating in the water. All right. The bowling ball, and specifically this is a 12-pound bowling ball, uh, has a density of 1.03. So that's actually bigger than one. That's bigger than one because of that 0.3 on the end there. So since it's bigger than one, our bowling ball is going to sink in the water. All right. So that's just a quick application of this density. So at this point, um, We've learned enough about density. You guys can go ahead and finish up the next part of your lab to help distinguish why those two rods are made up of different materials. Quick uh, shout out to Google. Thank you for the images uh, and good luck with the rest of your lab.